something very special to show you today. I'll be adding another pen to my Visconti Van Gogh collection. That's right. I have in this box right here, the newest Visconti Van Gogh fountain pen. I know, it's super exciting. It's the old vineyard with peasant woman. And that's exactly what we're seeing here in Vincent's very emotive brushstrokes with the peasant woman over here walking through the vineyard. I love how Visconti pens, especially from the Van Gogh series, come with the paintings, you know, so you, you can see exactly the, the painting that they're basing this pen off of. But the way that the material is created, it has swirls and it looks like swirly brush strokes from the paint. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'll, I'll describe it as I'm showing you the pen for crying out loud. <sighs> Let me open the box up here. Now I didn't get the typical box that the pen actually comes in. And that is because I got this at the San Antonio pen show last weekend. So I, it's actually in the box that the ballpoint or the rollerball pen comes in. So normally when, when you do buy this pen, there's gonna be a little uh, hole right here or something like a hole, whatever it is. And it will house a little tiny Van Gogh, or Visconti ink that is that coordinates with the pen. Now, I didn't need the ink. You know, it was offered to me, The they said they could send me the box from Drongles or whatever. And I was like, it's fine. I don't need that. I just, a regular box is fine. I believe that the pen comes with like a black or a gray ink. I've got so many of those already that I was like, you know, I mean, it would be cool to have the little ink with it, but I don't really, I have so much ink already. I really don't need to figure out a way to store another bottle. So I said, no, it's fine. I'll just take that box. As long as I have this right here, uh, it's like a little bookmark <clears throat> that comes out and it has a, a detail image of the painting. And then on the back, it has the title of the painting. You know, it's a really good reproduction actually. Looks nice. Um, it has a lot of the details and when you look closely at it, you can actually see Vincent's brush strokes. Something different that they're doing that I noticed and I hadn't uh, noticed this before with any of the other Visconti Van Gogh pens is that, you know how your pens come with the literature? Well, this one does, but it's like at the top of the box in an envelope that's stuck to the interior. Kind of nice because sometimes when you open up these pens, it just feels like the stuff flies out everywhere, right? So let's open this up. And this is what comes inside of that. It's basically, it's a little booklet that shows, you know, the Visconti pen products that they sell, you know, such as here's, you know, another Van Gogh pen. Um, just, you know, the Rembrandt pens. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Visconti Rembrandt pens, those are quite popular as well. The pen I would love to add to my collection, which is, I know we're talking about the Van Gogh pen, but let's just saying that I would like to add the, one of the Divina pens to, or the Fashion Divina would be really nice to have in my collection. So like, if anyone wants to hook me up, like that's gonna happen. I'll have to save for it, I'm sure. But I would like the Davina with the, it's the green material with the gold trim. It's absolutely stunning. Look it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's take a closer look at this pen. As you may or may not know, I am an art historian by profession. And so I do have a deep appreciation for Vincent Van Gogh, as well as other pens that are basically made after or are inspired by artwork. So, and I, I just, I like to collect things like that. This is what I was talking about um, with the Van Gogh pen. First of all, if you could see it in the light, the barrel and the cap, they are faceted. And so it catches the light and it just really makes this pen gorgeous. Like if this was just without the facets, I mean, it would be pretty cool with all the swirly stuff, but it'd basically be a Rembrandt. The facets make it more distinctively a Van Gogh pen is that swirly pattern. Doesn't it look like, you know, Vincent took his brush and just like reached through the material and just swirled around some of the colors. 
Just love the way that looks. And of course, Visconti is very famous for their clip. The clip is spring-loaded and it is the it is an arch which is meant to um, commemorate the I think it's the Pont de del Vecchio, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Pont del Vecchio. So that is a bridge that is located in Florence where Visconti is located. So it is springy. No problem clipping that on anywhere. Of course, that's one of the genius designs that Dante De Vecchio uh, created for this pen. And it also has a magnetic closure, which is pretty cool. Now it doesn't, it does post, but it's a friction post. So it doesn't have a magnetic post, but it does, it fits just fine. Like your cap's not gonna fall off. Now let's look at this nib because they're doing something different. It's not just your, basic Visconti steel nib. It is still a steel nib, yes, but it has Vincent's signature on it, or a signature on it. It's not Vincent's signature, but it does say Van Gogh. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see. Yeah, it looks it looks kind of like Vincent's signature, um, but you know, if, if you know anything about Vincent Van Gogh, the way he signed his paintings, he always signed him Vincent. So, he rarely used Van Gogh on there, so they could have got this from somewhere. But it is quite lovely. I like the nib like this. I like that it's not just your, you know, the everyday average Visconti steel nib. It, it This makes it a lot more special. This is a cartridge converter pen, so it does come with a converter. So you can fill it with any ink you want. In fact, you'll probably fill your pen with the ink that comes with the pen. I won't be, I'll be filling this up. It looks like I chose three oysters, purple gray uh, to match this pen. I don't know, I might choose something else, but that's what I've got out right now. It looked like a nice color to go with it. Show you what it is like holding it in hand. So it actually doesn't change the size too much. Um, it's very nice, nice fit. Um, and it's a nice, this is a nice everyday pen to carry around. It's just, it's a very lovely pen and it's sure to get lots of attention, right? Um, yeah, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink this baby up. I'm gonna see how she writes.
you so much for this look at the new Visconti Van Gogh pin called Old Vineyard with Peasant Woman. They're still just arriving into some of the pen stores. This one I got because, you know, old John Lane was sitting at the Visconti DuPont table and I saw it and I was like, that pen's gonna be mine. I got it. Um, so this is what it looks like in the wild. Oh, wild. Ah, oh, I do like it. And the lid writes really smooth, which of course that, that makes me happy. Um, yeah. I do, I highly recommend this pen. I think you'll really enjoy it. And that's how the ink flows.